Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another episode of Samir's Eats. We're here in Anaheim, California at Ma's Islamic Chinese restaurant. I've been here a couple times in the past and I gotta tell you, they have one of the finest halal Chinese foods that I've ever had. So I have a special guest inside and we're gonna go on in and see what they're cooking up. Assalamu alaikum. All right, so we're here with my special guest. Most of you may know him. His name's Napoleon, also known as Mutabil, his real name. Uh, alhamdulillah, you know, he came to Islam, you know, a few years ago, uh, and he left the life uh, of the rap uh, industry. So why don't you tell us a quick snapshot of what's been going on? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, um, first of all, thankful to be here at this halal joint with my brother Samir that I know from Jersey for a few years. So it's an honor to be here with, with the Muslims, alhamdulillah. Like the brother said, I was a former member of the Outlaws, which was a rap group put together by Tupac Shakur. Um, I appeared on over 60 million records worldwide. I accepted the religion of Islam eight years ago, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Yeah, so uh, we've, we've had our times in Jersey where we've Definitely. eaten at some some Good nice halal, halal joint, restaurants, yeah. so uh, you it's know. One of the things about the Muslims, we love to eat from the Alhamdulillah, yeah, so, some good food. <laughs> so I figure we're in LA, why not call my man up? I found this place, I discovered this place about a couple years ago when I came out here with my brother who's there and a few of my friends, and Alhamdulillah, I, I really love the food here, so I want to share with you because I know you like yeah. your Chinese foods. So I'm really hungry, I'm smelling all the food around here. So uh, why don't you, yeah, what's, your, what's your favorite item? Uh, I the compound chicken, man. I like it spicy. Nice. Get to put the extra chili on mine, fried, fried rice, and do it like that from Jersey. Mm, you know? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with their Mongolian beef. I had it last time. It was like one of the best items that I've had here. Um, the, most of their uh, items are, are amazing, but I'm going to definitely do we that. We're going to dip from each other plate, man. Sure. Yeah, yeah let's Mongolian do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, right now we're here at lunch. They have these lunch specials. They start at six fifty, right? And then they go down to seven ninety five. What a bargain. That's such a great such a nice place. Definitely huh? good price. So um, so we're gonna get down to that. It includes the soup of the day. They have an egg roll and they give you steamed rice. So good deal, like? can't beat it. Yeah, the price so. is right. <laughs> so while we're waiting for our food, um, they brought out some appetizers here. We have chicken corn soup. Looks pretty enticing. And we've got egg roll. Okay. So, yeah, looking good. Go. Yeah, 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 try the soup. Oh, you want to try the soup? Let's see, go for the uh, egg roll first. Let's see how they do. Crunchy and uh, sweet and sour sauce. Really good. Mm -hmm. No, I can say. No, it's great soup. Y'all know how I eat. Yeah, I, I mean, I mentioned this before. I'm not a huge fan of soup, but some some of them do it, like this one, you know. So I wanted to take a moment um, and uh, talk about your latest project. I mean, I know yeah. I've been trying to reach you, and uh, I'm glad you're traveling overseas, Masala, yeah. you know, promoting uh, one of your projects. Why don't you tell Definitely. us a little about that? You know, we're working on a project. It's a documentary about my life. It's called Life of an Outlaw. Um, thank God we just finished the documentary, so we're traveling around the world doing different screenings. Just came back from Sydney, Australia. We had our first screening there. Um, next week, inshallah, we go to Qatar. Got a few screenings in New Jersey, Atlanta at the Tupac Shakur Center. It's about my life, you know what I mean? Growing up in the streets of New Jersey, my involvement in the music industry, um, and my acceptance of the religion of Islam. Um, right. If you in Qatar, come out on November 25th. If you in um, Atlanta, come out on December 10th at the Tupac Center. And if you in Anaheim, California, where we at right now, come out December 19th 
you know, information will be given soon. Yeah, and then you have a website dedicated for Definitely. this document. We have a website called lifeofanoutlaw.com. Awesome. Check it out. I'm the, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I saw the trailer. There's a trailer on the website. Definitely. Uh, check Definitely. it out. You know, I mean, this is it's a great story about what had happened. You know, with yeah. your life, you're transitioning from the rap uh, industry Definitely. into dedicating it to Islamic activities. Even though, uh, you know, yeah, sure. we, I mean, we we happy with the outcome. Our partner Yusef, who's the writer and the director, did a good job putting this documentary together, and we're excited myself to be able to see. Hopefully, it reach the streets, reach the kids, and be something positive for the youth out there. You know? wow. Here's your uh, egg oh, fried rice wow. and oh, your uh, beef. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. Come on, chicken. Appreciate you, my friend. That's Ali. Ali. Mashallah. Yeah. Last but not least, uh, some rice. And the steamed rice. Okay. So we we got our fruit here, alhamdulillah. We got the uh, Mongolian beef. It's nice, right? I like the... Uh, Oh, the Kung Pao yeah, chicken. That's, that's looking nice, man. Yeah, looking what, good. You know what they put in that? Kung Pao? A lot of chili. A lot of chili? <laughs> oh, yeah, looks good. You know, one of my uh, favorite chicken items is General Pao's chicken Sal's. as well. Yeah, so. I give this a little... Right? Yeah, it's all right. You know, I'm, I'm Indian, so, you know, the spices <laughs> don't bother me. And here is... The uh, fried rice, just plain uh, regular egg fried rice. Got some peas, some carrots, some egg in there. Smelling, smelling nice. It's awesome, man. Yeah. Man. See me, man. I gotta go here. The chili. You gotta, you gotta put the, the chili. chili on. You gotta get the chili, man. What's food without chili sauce? Yeah. I, you know what I mean? I'm with you on that. I like to challenge the brothers from India, Pakistan. I like to tell them to, you know, spicy competition. <laughs> Chili eating competition. So live on your show, this is a challenge. Next time you see me, man, I'm gonna be yeah. eating the green chili peppers. So I've mixed in the Mongolian beef with the fried rice, okay? So in the fried rice, uh, actually we came with the beef, I've got some green onions, okay? Scallions. Very crunchy. Not so I can't even sleep right now. I had nothing to say. Too busy eating, baby. <laughs> this, this, the beef is nice and tender. You took some of my beef, right? Yeah, I stole some, bro. You did? Yeah. Oh. You know what? That means I gotta take some of your chicken. Yeah, you gotta get some chicken. Mm -hmm. Mashallah, the food is delicious here. Not like no halal Chinese food, man. You're missing out. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you are missing out. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely he are. Was. You bite into it. It's very tender. Cuts right through. I want to put some chili sauce on. Go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try your challenge here. The challenge starts today. How many spoons? Get about three, bro. Three. All right. Yeah, one. Two. Three. Challenge. We challenge it. Now I gotta get four. <laughs> gotta beat this challenge. <laughs> yeah. I can the, never the get top, enough. The I can top. never get enough of this chili sauce. Right. The top score. Then you sprinkle it on top like this. You know what I mean? Mm. Gotta know how to do that. I'm mixing it Chef, up. Chef's chef spoon right there. Gotta come back now. I think I got a new spot now. Chef. Yeah. You didn't know about this place, never huh? Never know, man. Never knew about this. Came here a couple years ago. I found this place on thebia.com. Mm. And that's how it came over here. So they have a prayer hall here in case you need to make salat, you know, which we're gonna do after we eat. And uh, it's very, it's a clean environment. It's, you come in, you feel like, wow, you know, I wanna bring my family here, I wanna bring my friends here. So you definitely, it's family oriented. You know? uh, yep. So I have the opportunity of meeting the owners of this wonderful establishment of uh, Ma's Islamic Chinese. We have here Sister Fatima Ma. Assalamu alaikum. And we have the son Ali Ma as well. Um, and then uh, Ibrahim is the chef who is unable to join us at this moment. How, how long have you been in business here? We've been here almost five years and then we uh, in the Los Angeles star restaurant in the downtown S3. Okay. And then we moved to La Habra and Rosemi and moved here now. So almost maybe 30 years. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, 30 years in the Chinese restaurant business. Yes. Okay, awesome. 
Well, look, thanks for having us here. It's uh, always a pleasure uh, coming down to Anaheim uh, and uh, having your food. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah. Man. That was an awesome meal. Look, man. Delicious, mashallah. <laughs> So I appreciate you coming appreciate out, having you. lunch with me. Uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite spots when I come to the area. This one of my favorite spots after this, you know what I mean? That Kung Pao was pow. So yeah, baby, just you know? keep us uh, in your prayers as you travel. Definitely, definitely not, you definitely. know, I, I also wanted to um, no. make a mention. I know your son uh, yeah, he got diagnosed, Muhammad. Yeah, with the, make, make dua for my son. Muhammad got diagnosed with a little tumor cancer called neuroblastoma, but alhamdulillah they removed it. He's still in recovery. Thanks for the brothers and sisters that made dua for him. Keep making dua for him. We appreciate that, me and my family. You know what I mean? Inshallah. You know, I appreciate and that. may Allah give him shifa and make it easy mean. for your exactly. family. Okay. Thanks. Inshallah. Appreciate that, man. So check these guys out at 601 East Orange Thorpe Avenue here in Anaheim, California. And until next time, I'll catch you on the next episode. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. <laughs>